say, what we do the next three days will impact the next four days. So what we do today, tomorrow, and Wednesday is going to greatly impact what goes on Thursday night, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So we want to have powerful prayer tonight and on Tuesday and on Wednesday. Be in fasting for this week that's coming up. Because God, if you don't know, I mean, people are going to need healing and deliverance and a lot of other issues. We want God to be able to move freely without any obstacles. We want our spirits right. So when it comes time for service, that we don't have to try to get ourselves right and waste a day or two of the revival trying to get us ready. We need to be ready going into it. So when the guests come in, that we're ready to go ahead and minister with them and help pray them through to the Holy Ghost and all these things. So we've got a we've got a busy couple of days, but I'm just going to talk very quickly. Revelation chapter three, uh, verses seven through eleven. The Bible says. To the angel of the church in Philadelphia, write these things, saith he that is holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of David, he that openeth, and no man shutteth, and shutteth, and no man openeth. He says in verse number 8, I know thy works, behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast with that which thou hast, that no man may take thy crown. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, which is Jerusalem which cometh down out of heaven from my God, and I will write upon him my new name. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith to the churches. Ironically, well maybe not ironically, wrong word, but the church of Philadelphia is the uh, only church of the seven churches of Asia that doesn't have anything bad to say, that God doesn't have anything bad to say about them. The reason why I read this today is I've been praying for the last week or two in my office about God would open the door to Mishawaka and open the door to South Bend and Osceola and Granger. And I've been praying specifically for the cities. And in my office, I've got a map of the, of the city. It's got South Bend, Mishawaka, Granger, Osceola, Elkhart, that whole area. And I've been laying hands on that map praying that God would open the door to the different parts and the different cities to us. And today while I was here at the church praying, God, I feel like God speak to me and just say that I've set before you an open door. So I opened it, I opened up, you know, tried to look it up in my Bible, and it came to Revelation 3 and 8. I know thy works, and behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. I really feel that over this next week, or the next, well, the prayer and fasting we're about to do this week, but also the revival that God has set before us truly an open door that no man can shut it. Different people may have tried to shut it, but it cannot be shut. God has opened the door, and I believe that through this week and through the efforts that we're going to put forth these next three days and the revival that we're going to embark on, that door is wide open. I believe that God has given us the city. I believe that God has given us victory and that God has given us revival. Amen. And I'm claiming that today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. There's been things, and, you know, we need, uh, there's just a lot of things going on outside. But we just got to pay attention. The door is open. The people that you're trying to reach, it's there. The door is open. Reach out. Reach through that door and grab them and pull them into the ark of safety. Keep, keep reaching out to people. Keep lifting them up in prayer. Keep inviting. Keep being a witness. Because God, I believe, has opened the door to the city. And I believe that this week is going to start a chain reaction for the rest of May and June and all throughout the summer and the fall. That we are going to see an explosion of souls come into this church. Because God has set before us an open door. Because of prayer and because of fasting, we've been beating on the door. But I believe now that God is opening the door to us to another realm of growth. We had good growth for a little while, then we've kind of been stagnant. But I believe that God is opening that door again for us to have some more explosive growth and have even more people come into the ark of safety. So I want you to be in prayer tonight, believing for the open door. Know that God has already opened it. God's already made a way. We just got to pray, we've got to be diligent, we've got to fast, we've got to do our part, and God's going to do His part. Amen? Amen. Amen. Would you stand here today?
Amen. We're praying specifically for the revival that is taking place. We're going to be praying down here because this is where the services are going to be. We're not having services in Bailey Hall. They're going to be down here. So we're going to be praying the prayer of faith in this sanctuary. If you want to go off around the vestibule, you're more than welcome to. Let's just find a place all throughout this place. Walk around. You can kneel down. We're going to have uh, oil. I'm going to bring the oil down here. Feel free to grab some oil and begin to walk up and down the pews. Begin to anoint them with oil. Amen. Even the doorways, the back door, the front door. We want everybody that walks in to come under the covering of the anointing of God. And every spirit that is contrary to the spirit of God needs to stay outside the door. So we want to anoint the doorway. We're going to anoint things in the church over these next few days. We're going to bind some things. We're going to loosen some things. We're going to take authority because it's only going to happen if we do our part today. God, the Spirit of God is coming. Brother Lee is coming. It's going to be a great time. And we've got to do our part. We've got to be diligent. Kingdom of God suffers violence, and the violent take it by force. You heard about that two Sundays ago. Let's keep being violent. Let's be persistent in our prayers. Let's be forceful. Let's not be timid, but let's speak some things. Begin to conquer some things, and we're going to see great things take place. Would you begin to lift your hands in this place today? We love you, Lord. I thank you right now for victory. I thank you, God, for setting before us an open door. Hallelujah. Because you opened it, no man can shut it. If we would have opened it ourselves, it could be easily shut by us. But God, I'm thankful today that we didn't open the door, but you opened the door. Hallelujah. And you open it, no man can shut it. And if you shut, no man can open it. God, I thank you right now for the heart and the soul that we're going to receive, God, throughout this week and the coming weeks, in Jesus' name. I thank you in advance, God. Hallelujah. For all the healings that are about to take place this week. I thank you in advance, God, for every person that's going to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost this week. I thank you in advance, God. Hallelujah. For people being delivered from addiction. People being delivered from evil spirits, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thank you, God, for bringing the fighting from strongholds in Jesus' name. Yes, God. Hallelujah. I thank you in advance for the victory. I thank you in advance for the healing, oh God. I thank you in advance for the powerful services that we are going to embark on this next week, God, Thursday through Sunday. God, even through our prayer meetings tonight through Wednesday. God, I believe the power is going to fall down in this place, and we're going to experience something that we have not experienced before. Hallelujah. We love you, Lord. We thank you right now. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Let's find a place. Let's begin to pray. Let's begin to call upon the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Great are you, Lord, and you are greatly to be praised. Hallelujah.